everybody and welcome to another unboxing and uh, a, a review. Today I will be taking a look at the new Doctor Who 3 inch toys that have only just come out. Here's one in its box. This is Matt Smith in his box here. So I will be in this I don't I, in in this episode I will be reviewing each toy because I've bought each one. So I'll put an annotation to the the start of each uh, start of each toy. That means you can like take a if you don't want to have a watch at each one, you can skip to a different toy. So we were starting off with the Doctor. Now I've uh, kept the Doctor in his packet just so that we can have a look at the box. Uh, it is in. So here it is. At the top, you've got the TARDIS there, and you could just got a bit of information: the age, Higa collection. Up oh, there, you've got the time vortex. It's like that that kind of like strange, like a uh, blue one. It was in 2010. I don't know how come we don't have the purple one, but you know that's fine. I like that. Six to collect. I have them all, so that's ex that's quite good. We've got a screwdriver in the packet, and the Doctor. Look at his face. What is wrong with his face? And then a stand. Underneath, we've got you know a Doctor logo there. Doctor. Underneath, we've got um the Doctor Who uh, a logo at the bottom. And underneath that, you've got the Doctor. I will tell you what each one is. Now you've got a nice area that's all made out of plastic, which allows you to have a look in in the, in the box and take a look at the toy inside. That's really nice. Now on the back, you've got some more information about what's already out. So here you've got all the um, toys. You've got a Doctor, Clara, an Ice Warrior, a Cyberman, a Weeping Angel, and a Dalek. And then here you've got like a little area here with the like a time zone place uh, 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 play set. So you've got Cold War play set and a Dalek play set that comes with a hoverboard there. Which is quite cool. And then the Cold War includes the alien that's uh, in, in the Ice Warrior. So that's also quite cool. So that's all that is the box. It's a nice box I think. I like the box. It's only small, it's really small, it's strange, but yeah. So I'm going to open him up and let's have a look at the Doctor. And here he is, out of the box. Now there is one immediate issue here, and that his head just slots off really easily. I mean, I went to open the packet, I went to try and take him out of the packet, and his head just popped off. Uh, and you slot his head in, and it's in, and, you know, it'll... It's on, but it's really easy to take off. I don't like that, but that's only, I think that's only because you can actually turn his head, whereas on all the others you can't. Anyway, let's start with a review of the guy. So, here we go. His head. Now, what have they done with his head? I mean, his eyes look strange. His eyebrows look strange. His everything looks his nose looks strange. It just looks bad. I mean his hair looks alright actually. If you look at him like that, it actually looks quite good. But uh, if you look at it um head on, it looks really bad. But anyway, I think everyone will work that out so we can we can have a move on. Got a bow tie there. Look how huge my hands are compared to these. Got a bow tie just underneath there. That's painted nicely. You've got a blue sh uh, a shirt on underneath. A uh, black bow tie, blue shirt, and then his purple costume. I don't know if that's actually how, how well that is on the camera, but it is extremely purple and it looks really, really nice. I like it. Um, there's like a load of creases in the jacket, which just add to the uh, detail of the, um, of the toy. Looks really, really good. Uh, the articulation, his arms move out a little bit to about there, uh, and his hands move in like that. Now that hand is out because he can hold his uh, 
screwdriver. His hands don't turn really, um, but you know that's okay. His head turns right off, but yeah, his head is nice. His torso is nice. He's got a waistcoat on the oh, it's not the camera. He's got a waistcoat on underneath, which is really nice. It's got patterns in it. It's got a lot of patterns. Just looks really, really good. Uh, then his purple trousers, well, his black trousers, and uh, his his uh, end of his coat has got little creases in there. He's got like a blue, um, a blue bit around his uh, end of a jacket there. It looks really, really nice. It's great. It just looks amazing. And considering it's only three point, I don't know, eight or whatever inches, it looks amazing. It's great. I'm. Um, I expected it to be just like a plain toy that like his eyes and everything just looked like a, a, everything had just been completely painted in as one but it looks really good I'm really happy that they look so good apart from his eyes that just look weird anyway there we go let's have a look at the screwdriver here it is you've not got much detail on the screwdriver I mean you've got you've got a fair amount that is painted a green there. It, I mean, it is extremely small and it has got a lot of detail on. So let's put the screwdriver in this stand if I don't drop it. Let's put it in, in his hand here. Upside down, obviously, because that's how you hold the screwdriver. Here it is. Looks great. I really like that. Now, each of these toys comes with a stand which is just a Doctor Who, like a TARDIS thing, with a little hole there. And all you do is, every, all the toys have got a hole at the bottom, and they just slot in here. And then, there you are. It's just on a stand, and that can just stay like that. That's actually I like that. I really do like this. Right, let's um, let's have a look at Clara next. Here she is, Clara Oswin Oswald or Clara Oswald as she is now. And Clara has a bag that comes extra in the packet. It's a bit strange, like kind of sloops over her hair, but you know it doesn't look the greatest. But you know it's alright, stays on sort of. Uh, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. Let's take that off. And let's have a look at Clara as person. If the cam would like to stay on her face, here's her face. Now, her face isn't that great. It's not that amazing, to be honest. Her hair also looks a bit crappy, but it's not too bad. I mean, if you really kind of squint, it does look like Clara. Um, but it's really, really good. Apart from, apart from the head thing. Uh, her head hasn't got any articulation at all, um, but I'm guessing that's because of the hair. If you move down to the torso, you've got like a spotted, like a, a dress thing on here with a jacket. Again, a creases in the jacket to, to give it an extra bit of uh, detail, and it just makes it look amazing. I mean, it's that. It, what amazes me is that it's small, but looks great. It really does look great. Um, then you've got like a little watch on this hand there and a ring. That could be a mum's ring. Uh, her hands don't have any articulation whatsoever. They're just there. Uh, her arms can move up like that. Then for some reason they can move out and then turn like this. So don't even know why that's there, but it is. Uh, her trousers are just plain black. And the boots are also just black. But overall, that's also really nice. Again, comes with a stand. So you can just put Clara on the stand. And she can live happily ever after. I was born to save the doctor. Let's have a look at a bag. There's nothing special, I suppose. Just like a red bag with a, a bit like um, an overall bag thing. That's got some creases in it. It looks really nice. I like it. it. Looks great. So, that's Clara and the Doctor done, and they are both amazing. They're really good. Now, who should I do? Let's do 
a weeping angel. Here it is, the weeping angel. Now, that is amazing. It is a great toy, this one. I really like it. You've got a hole at the bottom. I don't know why you've got two holes, and there's only a hole in a stand, but who knows. But the, the, the weeping angel's head looks great. Um, you can't... There isn't any articulation in their head at all, but that's kind of to be expected with these. However, there isn't any articulation in the arm, apart from it can move out and up, but it can't... Her hands aren't able to go over her head, it just like... Looks like she's got a hand in the air. Or you can have them out a little bit. That just looks weird and makes it look less scary. Um, a torso has obviously that kind of like uh, a dress thing that looks great. You've got all the creases in there, makes it look amazing. Uh, and down to her bottom, which is just you know as like a, a stand on its own, that looks amazing. All the creases in her wings are amazingly detailed. I don't know if you see that, but there's like a lot of um, score marks, which just add to the authenticity of the toy. It is an, um, a great, great toy. I love it. The hair is really good as well. Um, the hair's great. You can all the creases in the hair look just make this toy look amazing. Um, that comes with a stand, and not I've not tried this one on a stand actually. I can't imagine it that great on a stand. It looks alright on a stand. There you go. That's what we playing on a stand. It looks great. I really like the oops coming off the stand. Yeah, it's not. Not the best one to go and stand. It's kind of got its own stand. But, yeah. Okay, let's put that down there. The next one is... A Cyberman. Here it is. This is my... Oh, I, I, I love this one. It, it's just amazing. It is a best one. It is my best one. It's great. Uh, if you look at the head... I love the new uh, cyber design anyway. But the toy looks amazing. The head, if it would say in... Uh, there, oh no, there we don't go. There we go, the head just looks amazing. You've got the eyes and the mouth and the um, paint is amazing. It's not just a colour, it's got tone to the colour. It uh, makes it look great. Unfortunately, I didn't get, because you can get a Cyberman that has a blue heart and a gun on his arm. Unfortunately, I didn't get that one, I just got a plain one. But I will have a look if I can get that other one and I will probably put a quick episode up if I get it if not but um, I mean you can imagine what it looks like just got a blue heart thing and a gun um so, so his head looks amazing his torso looks great you've got all the creases and the armor plating and the heart of blueness there which isn't it's all closed up obviously because he can't have it exposed uh, his neck looks great it really looks well put together and strong um, his arms look amazing, I mean like, like that just looks like he's really old, but not old and new and black, it just looks great. The articulation is the arms kind of can, that's just, that's it, and up like that, that's all the articulation they've got. Um, not much, but you know, it's, it's not bad. The head has, hasn't got any articulation at all. Um, now we move down to the bottom bit, you've got uh, plating here and on the knees, you can twist the knees like this and the helmet looks really really good you can see like all the uh, indents in the helmet and all over the armour really well, it looks great the armour looks amazing and the amount of you know artwork that is in these is just amazing you've got like a load of, of uh, detail in all of these toys up to now, it's great. Now the articulation, the I don't know if I've already done this. I moves out a little bit, but not hardly. You can't, can't really move out at all, uh, and it just at the elbow joint can twist the elbow joint. And the hand can't move, and the head can't move. It can move a little bit, but that is about it. Um, all the armor is pretty much um, identical, so I don't really need to go through it all. You get to the bottom, like it, the bottom you can open open them like this and at, at the knee joint they just start to bend at the knee joint there but that that's all articulation but 
it looks great. The eyes look great, and you can see there's like a diff, there's like a, a a green, a light green there for the flesh. It looks really, really good. This again has a stand. Just slot the Ice Warrior on the stand, and he's ready to take over the world. Right, what's next? Our last one, and it's a Dalek. Here it is. The Dalek. It looks really good. Look at this, a gold Dalek. Um, it's got a blue eye stalk. The paint has like overrun a little bit onto the eye stalk, but not too much. Um, the head does spin all the way around. It does a, a full 300 and... Uh, 60 degrees like this. Um, you've got a plunger here that can like spin around, and then you've got a laser here that can up and down and side to side. The eye stalk also moves up and down quite a lot. There's a lot of articulation in these, even though they're only three inches, they're still extremely good. Um, I don't really need to review a Dalek, it looks great. The paint is amazing. Um, the gold and the light gold and the dark gold just looks really really good it really tops off this it's amazing underneath you've got a, kind of like a ball bearing or a wheel um, and two wheels there that allows it to spin um, along the floor that's really good really good so that's it unfortunately the Dalek hasn't got a stand because it's got its own stand, but it still works. I mean, it's sort of all part of the same set, and it looks great. Um, when you put each toy in a line, it looks really, really good. So there we have it. Okay, so overall, what do I think to these? I think they're amazing. The amount of uh, paintwork and the creases and the detail that is in each toy is great. And it's only, like, it's tiny. But they just look amazing. Look at the Doctor. His creases in his coat just really add to the toy and make it look amazing. Now, there are a few issues with these. For example, if you were a child and you want to play with these as, you know, ordinary toy, in, in my opinion, they are too small to do that. It's In my opinion, it's more like a collector's item now. It's turned into like a collector's toy. They look amazing. Are out on display on uh, out in your bedroom or whatever. They look really good, but as like a toy, uh, and if you were a kid who wanted to play with them, they'd be hard, I think, to use as a toy, which is a bit of a shame. But because I'm I'm not using it as a toy, and I'm using it as like a collector's item. They look great, and I can't wait for the um, next batch to um, appear in the shop because I will hopefully be getting all of them um, so overall I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 that's a, a really high score because I think these, these are really high quality um, toys I really do think they are so there we go that's my opinion on the new Doctor Who toys for, 20, uh, for 2013 I will be Reviewing the TARDIS, that is the height of these as well, so stay tuned for that. That'll be out um, in, I don't know, a couple of weeks possibly. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'd, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments underneath this episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you next time. Bye.